What is up, Cryonix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most like vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Obey Omnis. So this car came out with the Cunning Stunts update in July of 2016. It can be purchased from a San San Andreas website for about $700,000. And the price of this car, I think it's pretty okay. The problem with this car is that it only has a couple customization options. Uh, it doesn't really have that much, um, but it is a really nice car to drive, so it does have that going for it. But again, it just lacks a bit in that department since it basically comes with rally style upgrades already on it now in terms of performance it is in the sports car class and it's not really that great it's around 60th place around the pace of the lynx and the comet safari however when you go off the pavement and we're talking about rally style off-road races it's a lot better in that department and decently competitive if you exclude the top two rally cars which are the se sport and the flash gt overall the main reason you should buy this car is for the driving experience on dirt roads and stuff, it's a ton of fun. But anyways, in terms of what the Omnis is based on, it's primarily based on the Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2 Group B rally car. Just an awesome and legendary rally car that looks absolutely amazing with the massive wide body, all the crazy downforce components. It's just a really unique looking car. It's awesome. It really, really is. And I think Rockstar did a phenomenal job bringing it into GTA. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Omnis. All right, Omnis. Okay, we got armor, brakes, engine, exhaust. We have a titanium tuner exhaust. Okay. It looks pretty decent. Um, I just don't like how far it sticks out personally. I wish it would have been more flush like the stock one. This one just looked like they attached it to the stock one. It just doesn't <laughs> look right. It looks a bit weird, so I'm going to do without that, unfortunately. Maybe an option for both sides would have been nice. You know, one on this side, one on the other side. But, um, yeah, kind of a lack of customization on this car for the most part. Uh, we're going to keep the stock uh, white lights there. Um, liveries, you have the classic rally, looking good, basically the globe oil livery, and then you have the retro rally, which this one looks a bit more similar to that actual Group B uh, Quattro rally car, so very, very cool there. Now, personally, I want more of a clean look without the livery, so I'm going to do no livery at all, but the rest of the car I'm going to make it look pretty similar to that one, so... Continuing plate, I already got my rally plate on here. Just gonna give it a black background. Respray. So for this, I'm going to go with a metallic white. Um, and we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're just gonna make it a pearl white, just to make it a bit more um, modern and a little bit more like a special white. So we'll do a diamond blue pearl on there so that when the sun hits it, it brightens up a little bit. Uh, secondary color, we're gonna hit it with, let me see here, so secondary on this car, I believe it's just the interior, yeah. So there's nothing changing out here. Oh, oh, and the brake calipers, look at that. Brake calipers are also linked to that. Is there anything else? Let me see. Doesn't look like it, okay. So it's basically some of the interior components, the ro uh, roll cage, and also the rear section of the car for some reason. <laughs> so very strange there. Um, and a little bit of the floor too, I think. Oh, so it's the carpeting. Oh, I see. So it's the carpeting and the a little bit of the headliner, or is that just bodywork? Hmm. Weird. Okay. So it's. I can't even. <laughs> it's like the interior panels that are not that don't have a headliner. Basically, the the interior components with the roll cage. Basically. Okay. Um. So I guess we'll do a Torino red. I think the bright red looks pretty good in there. Maybe the regular red. I don't know. I think the Torino red is a little brighter. It looks a bit better. Eh, I think we'll do the regular red. Okay. So we got the red calipers with the white and red color combo. Looks great. Very nice. 
Uh, continuing spoiler upgrade. So the stock spoiler is very similar to the actual uh, Quattro Rally car. So if you want the more accurate looking one, you're going to want to keep the stock one. You also have the remove spoiler option if you want a clean look. And then lastly here you have the giant double spoiler. <laughs> if you want something crazy there. Um, now these cutting stunts cars, they had like a new downforce value added to them I believe back in the day. So you don't actually need to uh, purchase a spoiler upgrade for this car. They all provide the same amount of traction. And you could even see the traction bar stays the same between all of them. So you only need to have the stock spoiler for this car. You don't need to buy one of the upgraded ones. So if you prefer the stock one, boom, you can do that. Um, you know, you don't lose any traction benefit or, or any potential tra uh, traction benefit. So we're going to keep the stock one there. Suspension. I think we'll lower. I mean, it's it's super high up. I mean, it is a rally car, but even with the lowest one, it doesn't look that low still. It's still pretty high up. Um, so I think we'll just do the sport suspension. Might as well. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels. So for this, we're going to go to the street category. And we're going to go down to these right here. The Stanced EG Custom. I think these look perfect on this car. Um, these are from the street category, obviously, so they have more of a deep dish on top of that. And these five spokes look great on here. So we're going to do these. Then we're going to do the um, frost white wheel color. And look at that. This thing looks gorgeous. <laughs> the deep dish with the wide body, white on white with the red interior. Oh, my God. It's, it's so, so nice. We're going to keep going here. Um, windows. We're not going to do any tints. This is a rally car after all. Even though it doesn't tint the front glass. Oh, it tints all of them except for the driver's glass. I see. That's funny. Even though it's these panels are plastic on race cars. But, um, hmm. You know, I thought we're not going to do any tints on that. So that's all the options there. So like I said in the beginning of the video, not really much on this car. It was from the coming stunts update where most of the cars didn't really have that much visual customization. Uh, there's only like a couple parts here and there, so... Yeah, alright, let's take it for a drive. I mean, the car in general, if you look at it, it already comes with most of the, like, vi visual crazy upgrades already on it. Usually, when they add a car like this in GTA, it will have a smooth hood, right? This one has a vented hood already on it. It will probably have no fog lights. This one already has the fog lights on it. Um, I mean, there's just certain parts in the mud flaps, and there's certain parts that this car already has on it, if you see what I'm saying. But anyways, um, first person... Got the awesome interior in here. I mean, this thing is fully detailed, pretty much. It's super, super nice. And it's got the Obey logo back here in the center. I mean, just super clean. Obey on the, on the racing harness, too. Look at that. Obey team. So, so nice. All right, let's give it some gas. Sounds great. I love the backfires, too. The Omnis is known for that. First person. Super cool. Shift light, too. Awesome. All right, let's floor it. All wheel drive, no wheel spin. And this thing has pretty good acceleration for what it is. I mean, acceleration is very impressive. And it gets up and goes quick. The problem with this car, the top speed really isn't that high. Um, the Tropos, for example, has a bit higher of a top speed. And the handling is pretty good. I mean, where this car really shines is when you're off the pavement, not on it. <laughs> that's what, that's when it really shines. Don't get me wrong; it still drives nice on the pavement, uh, but when you go off road, that's that's when it really shines. Um, let me see if I can find, go back here, find like a, like a mountain or a hill or something. Let's go. There we go. Okay, let's go through here. All right. Watch how easily it climbs this half throttle. <laughs> it's so easy. All wheel drive, and it's so much fun to drive off road. Obviously, this is not really rallying because rallying you're on like trails and stuff. This is more like super aggressive off roading, but you get the point. I mean, it's look at that. It's it's super easy. It's effortless, um, and you can get almost out of any off roading situation in this thing. I mean, it just grips and goes, no problem at all. Very very impressive. So I can find something like super steep so I can show Let's see something here. Not really I think like super steep on this. And this car just does everything so easy. Oh here we got like a little path here. Like little paths is where it's so easy to drive. 
<laughs> this is what this car loves. Paths like that. So much fun. Right, let's just exit here. Awesome, awesome little car. I love this thing. It turned out really nice too. I'm gonna definitely gonna keep these wheels on this car and this this spec. This is super nice. All right, let's see if anything opens. You know, I've never actually tried opening anything on this car, so we're gonna find out here because I've I've never even tried. Let's see. Okay. Look at that. They actually put in a decent looking engine model with the Obey logo. Got some nice like a nice polished look. That's not bad. Not bad for 2016. And the interior is obviously super, super detailed. Very, very well done. The interior is literally like a 9.5 out of 10. It's 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 almost perfect. It's super, super nice. Um, there's no trunk. Doesn't open. So that's the only little thing there. But everything else is. I mean, it's great. And those fog lights do work. If you're wondering, let me let me show here really quick. They do work. See, boom. They're working right there. It's on and off. Oh, why am I changing the radio station? Whoops. <laughs> but on and off, you can see. I mean, overall, this car is amazing. The 700,000, though, I don't know, with upgrades, I mean, with upgrades and wheels, you, you're, you're approaching a million dollars for this car. That's that's a lot of money. Um, obviously, nowadays, you have Kyo, you have a million ways to make really good money. But in general, for most, you know, normal, average players, this is a decent amount of money for this car. Um, if you really want it, I would wait for it to be on sale. I mean, I, I believe this thing's been on the podium uh, before, if I remember correctly. It might return on the prize ride someday. Um, I would wait for a discount or podium or prize ride or something of that sort. Uh, personally, at this moment, I wouldn't just buy it for full $700,000 price. I don't think it's completely worth it because it does lack a bit of you know, visual customization if you want to make, you know, go for a different build. In this case, you're forced to do, you know, the full-on crazy-looking rally build. You can't go for a simple look if you really want to, other than the stock, well, other than the remove spoiler option. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. This was a great suggestion. I love, love, love the Omnis. And it's an amazing car, it really is. Thanks for watching. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.